Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, sir. Welcome in. <laughs> How y'all doing? Oh, good. Okay. Good. What's your name? Is this something? My name is Ja. Ja, and how old are you? I'm 31. 31. And Ja, what do you do? I work in private security, and I also own a DJ uh, entertainment company that I do music for, I also screenwrite for, and I model for. Nice. Okay. All right. And so, Ja, uh, what's your type of woman? What do you look for? Honestly, it's... And before he even go, we're going to let him cook, but he come out. And the first thing he's doing is he's leading with his accomplishments, as most men should. But a lot of times we see on the Kendra show, this sound, this is how the women sound. They come on, I'm an entrepreneur, I do this, I do that. And you see, when a man does it, nobody pops a balloon. But for a woman, it's, ma it's masculine. Exactly. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, lead with your accomplishments. Lead with how you got to this point as an established man. Not necessarily lead with your wallet. Don't go out there throwing stacks of hundreds in people's faces. But that was good. As you see, not one balloon popped. Ah, I think that's a first. So here we go. Mainly about the personality, right? Okay. That's what you can't replace. All right. And mm -hmm. what type of personality do you usually go for? I like somebody I can have a conversation with. Okay. Right. Nice. Uh, like a different range of topics. Somebody I can have fun with. Somebody I can eat with. Oh, right. so you're a foodie. Oh, yeah. You okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So the ladies have not popped, jaw. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you are doing well. Okay. So we are going to switch the roles over to you. So, okay. man, if I can have your toothpick, I'll have you hold that. It's crazy so, already. Yeah, it right. is. So just based off of looks so far, I know you're a personality guy, but, mm -hmm. you know, we all like, we got to like what we're looking at. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, right, right. Based off of looks, whose balloon are you going to pop? Just based off looks? I can't know, ask no other questions. Looks. First round, let's go based off of looks. Mm -hmm. How many? Um, let's start with one. Okay. We're just going to get this out you the just, way. I'm going to follow you wherever you go. Okay. Oh, so what we got? Who pink, balloon? Pink I, hair. I see, yeah, out of there. Yeah, yeah, the pink <laughs> hair. And I see this sister up front. She's obviously smaller than all these sisters, so she must be like midget size. I don't know. Yeah, she definitely fun size, petite thing, thing. But yeah, listen. the The lady said the host said pop a balloon solely off looks, no words, no personality, none of that. I gotta say that pink hair got to go. That, but that's just me. Like I think she wrong for coming here with that pink hair. Tripping. Here we go. <laughs> all right okay so let's go on right okay. over here if we can have your name and how old are you i'm rizoma and i'm 26 and rizoma Beautiful. what do you <laughs> what do you do um i work for ortho arizona it's my nine to five i also model and i'm working on a fragrance business and a couple others as well okay, nice Dope. and now joe why did you end up popping her balloon she the shortest Oh. No, that's totally okay. Yeah, I, just, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm legally a midget. I'm four foot eight. I get it. You four foot eight? <laughs> yeah. Okay, my bad. I didn't mean to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay. I understand. Okay. Oh, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I like what you got on, though. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so just the height that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. You're very welcome. Right. And so, um, tell me your name again. Rizoma. Rizomo, why did you keep your balloon unpopped for a job? Well, Percy, I really like how he dresses. I don't like that the pants are a little see-through, but you have the idea, which I, I love. Know, I know, but other than I that, know. I think you do. I think you did good. So I didn't see a reason to pop you. I did have some personal questions, but you popped my balloon, so I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Too. All right. Can I give you this back? I mean, oh, yeah. no, you gotta hold on to it. Okay. You, look at it. Right. No one's yeah, popping. No, no, you're right. You're doing okay. very well. Yes, yes, all right. <laughs> okay. So, did you have a question you wanted to ask the ladies? Mm. I know earlier you said you had a question. What is what is one fun thing about you? Like it can be a talent or what you like to do or a little personality trait. Listen, Hell. this is where you got to miss me. First uh. question. <laughs> yeah, first question you got to ask, brother, you, any of y'all got any kids? So <laughs> any men watching, that got to be like your first. And, and we can't act like that ain't a deal breaker. 
So some of y'all thinking with the head in your pants, you think about, you, they ain't even thinking about marriage. I'll let you know if a man ain't thinking about marriage and stuff. So he right away, you know, what you try to do on the first date? See, huh. I would think so. I think that's an accurate observation. See, I was goofy. I thought everybody up here, the first show, the first installment, I thought everybody was childless and I was terribly, terribly wrong, you know? So yes, that would be a good first question, but he popped that first sister's balloon simply because she was shorter. Sketchy, not buying it in the slightest. Don't, I don't get that. She too. I ain't, I personally have never heard a brother say she too short. What? I don't see how that's a bad thing at all in the slightest. Easy to pick up. What are you talking about? <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button. Whatever, what have you. All right, let's start right here. Name and how old you are, and then we'll go ahead and answer mm. his question. Yes, my name is Lovely. I am 41 years old. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. I'm very adventurous, so okay. I like to do like things that live on the edge, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> okay. Hiking, parasailing, gotcha. anything okay. with water. Water right. daredevil. Oh, oh <laughs> daredevil. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go on right over here. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm 26. Um, I'm very optimistic and I'm a goofy goober. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> um, I like to go out to the movies. I like to go out to eat. Okay. Um, I like to go hiking as well. Cool. And I'm really down for everything. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rhea. I'm 30 years old, and I would like to say that um, I like to travel, and I'm down for anything. Um, okay. I like anime. I love comic books, so I love to read. Um, so okay. I'll try anything once. If that's down to food, yeah. whatever type of activity, even if I've never done it before, I just like experiences. Let me fix your mic here. Oh, great. Thank you. All right. My name's Adana, and I'm full grown. Uh, my talent about myself is that I know myself. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're going to keep an eye on her as the show goes on. All right. And I see the one sister is 41 years old. That's probably one of the older women we see up here so far. They normally mm. know 20s, 30. She said, I'm 41. And you looking down this girl, I'm 26. What you doing up here, auntie? Listen here, I'm analyzing all oh, this brother ain't pop like you said. That's just a 41. How is, is this brother? Like, listen, I'm I'm starting to get smooth talking scent vibes. That's just me. All right. I don't know what's going on. And these two, this is the here talking about she full grown. She ain't even give her age. She just fully grown. Y'all heard that. Huh? She at least 50. <laughs> she uh -huh. a, she a great looking 50, probably. Huh, and then the, and then the hyenas to the left of her, they pop their balloons. Them two, the two women to the left of the the sister that's fully grown, trouble in the valley. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Divine. He says, first question I ask: any kids or any situationships? So, Bingo. <laughs> like I said, marriage minded, but most men they don't care. They want you to have them kids. Easy. I know you out here clapping cheeks. There we go. He thirty one. That sister 41, he, I'm going to say he should have popped her balloon. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think they pop it in this setting right here yet. So she just asking them questions. But we'll see. Here we go. Hit the like button. About to get dark. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back to y'all too. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, damn. Hi. I'm Ashley. I'm 38. Uh -huh. And I work for an airline. I like to travel. Very okay. spontaneous. Um okay love to experience new cultures yeah. or not well yeah yeah love to experience different cultures um move around a lot love hiking those are the fun things about me i guess cool cool everybody like to hike <laughs> we're in arizona what else are you gonna do <laughs> like, we got great nightlife <laughs> out here i'm not gonna arizona. lie to you you got it yep i think so <laughs> Look at you. there you go my name is Miriam. i'm 23 and a fun fact things i like to i like to learn new things like Ooh. feed my feed me with no more knowledge yeah. about religion about food about culture about life what in god's name see what i'm saying she 23 
So that woman down there, like, I'm 41. You, my daughter, and you, you look like my aunt. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Listen here. Just off of visuals. Yeah, Miss Pinky here. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Miss Pinky and Miss Fully Grown. How, how you 23 and, and trending towards completely blowed out? Like, yeah, hey, that's wicked, man. 23, Peppa Pig, y'all. On, I know, I know, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it yet. <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna be a long night for her. We're gonna keep an eye on her. I feel like they yeah. do this, you know, I guess every round. I guess Terrence is the guy and some of these other. So they're gonna find somebody, the low hanging fruit, if you will. So. <laughs> there she is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, uh, I like the answer. So, based off of those answers that you got from those ladies, whose balloon do you feel like popping? Damn. Okay. How many? <laughs> Balloons? Balloons. How many? Plural. Balloons? Let's go with two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just gonna get this over with. <laughs> um, are we walking? Yeah, go. Oh, okay. I'll follow you where you go. <laughs> Woo! I love it. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. That's what's up. Okay. Um, Just turn this way, though. Right, 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 right. It's just height. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay. Sorry. All right. I loved your answer, though. <laughs> Very interesting. So and that's where we stop pandering. He's gonna say, it's just your height. Just pop in, keep it. You have to say nothing. Everybody understand. <laughs> I, I don't agree with that, man. I agree. I agree with you, Gavin. I don't agree with him. Like what? Pop the balloon and height. I'm sorry. That's why I was so quick to thought that simp. I have never in my life heard no man say a woman is too short in all my days. Something is amiss. <laughs> he says Pinky is trying to hide that extra fupa with the balloon. <laughs> uh, I feel she younger, so it's I kind of feel for her. she all shy. Poor thing. Here we go. Why did you end up popping Adonis? Before? I didn't really. I it, it. Yeah, she popped it because she felt it. She felt it. But like, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't really sure about her answer. Like it. It was. Expl I'm sorry. It was like explanatory, but it didn't really answer what I was asking, more or less. Oh, and she did. Okay, so he was reaching in to pop it. She popped it herself. Good, good move. We talked about that. <laughs> I love it. Saving face. This is. Welcome to the sexual marketplace. Do y'all not understand when it comes to love and all this? You ain't supposed to a chance at love, I would imagine. He's supposed to be trying to save face. Supposed to be vulnerable. Put that balloon, let him pop it. She gonna say, "I pop my own balloon. Take my ball and go home." <laughs> Here we go. You know, yeah, what I, mean? I didn't give too much of an answer because I was still. I was fence. hoping someone would say something that I was thinking before I could say it. I feel it. But um, Everybody hikes I in here. popped it because, yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was, but yeah, it was definitely the distraction of the see-through pant. And then the, I mean, they the ivory, jewelry, yeah. like the earrings for me. Okay. Yeah, that's it. No, I feel it. I have to go, well, based off looks. Yeah, we splitting hairs in here, so. More or less. <laughs> More or less, all right. Okay, and then let's go down here. You end up popping this balloon here, and um, why did we end up popping her? Again, love her answer, and mm -hmm. she seems interesting. Um, but if if I had to choose, I I prefer a little taller. Okay. That's all. All right. That's I was all it is. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, <laughs> no. You still seem mad cool. Like really, I mean that. Okay. And then why did you keep your balloon unpopped for him? Um. First off, physical attraction, obviously. But um. I like the way he dresses. He's very clean. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. I prefer like he's my type, but I don't see I'm not his. Okay. All right. <laughs> and so we did get two ladies that popped their balloon on you. And I want to know. All right. So if we can have your name and how old you are. Haley, and I'm 31. Okay. And Haley, what do you do? I am a beautician, and I got my foot in a lot of things. So I'm going to just start with that because mm -hmm. it's been 10 plus years. Okay. So yeah. I respect it. Yeah. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? So I like his aura. Mm -hmm. He seemed like a nice guy, but I, I felt myself starting to lo lose interest quick. Mm -hmm. so, That'd be happening to me. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like to be bored. Oh. Yeah. I do like that. 
Okay. Mm. So people get bored of you? Is that what you're saying? Like you said, uh, it happens it, it'd often. It'd be reasons they lose interest. Some people don't see what they want to see or don't get what they get. So they'd be like, I'm going to move on. It makes sense. Okay. okay. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> We locked in. She cool, though. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. cool, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, is she your type? Yeah. Yeah. I love I love her fit. I like her I like her general. Like, she know what she want. Mm-hmm. I love that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, there would be no reason why. Okay. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> and let's go right on over here if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Connie Marie. I'm 32 years old. And uh, what do you do, Connie Marie? I am a registered behavior therapist for kids who have oh, autism, super cool. as well as I'm also a business owner. I have my own lash line, gotcha. and I'm also a published model. There we go. Hell! We just talked about this. She led in like he led in. Big, strong boy. That's why she popped her balloon. She said, oh, no, we both can't be big, strong boys. Exactly. Her and red lipstick to the right of her. I'm trying to tell you some trouble all night. I about guarantee. Just look at their demeanor. Yeah, she she looked at Ninja in his face. I get bored. I, I lost interest as you were standing at the beginning and started to walk down the line. I started to lose interest in you, Ninja. <laughs> that was glorious. Hyenas in the building. Watch your mouth. Here we go. Okay. Right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Honestly, I just felt like the vibe wasn't given for me. Mm. And it's like, I mean, he definitely seemed like somebody that's cool. But as far as like longevity wise, it just wasn't really like giving off what I wanted it to. No, so. I respect that. That's real. That makes sense. Okay. But you are handsome, though. You are attractive. You are beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Of course. <laughs> All right. So we do still have four balloons left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Did you have another question that you wanted to ask over to the ladies? Yeah, I'm going to get right into an important oh, okay. question. And it's not necessarily a deal breaker, so I don't want anybody to think that, but do you already have kids is my question. Yes, I already have children, mm-hmm. and I do not want any more. Okay. Yes, I do have two kids, two boys, and I don't want any more either. Okay. <laughs> Nope, I have no kids, just fur babies. That's about it. I respect it, yeah. <laughs> seven, to okay. be exact. Seven. Damn. Yeah, seven. Damn. What does this consist of? Uh, yeah, let's so do So I have six Malty Poodles and a Chihuahua slash German Shepherd mix. Yeah. Are all the Poodles related? <laughs> um, Yes, two of them are the parents. So I have the mother and the Got father. You. And okay. then I have, unfortunately, the puppies that I, was, un- okay. un- I was unable to get oh, sold. That makes um, sense. And then I kind of got used to them i had them for a while so i you know they're family now so okay. those okay. are my babies <laughs> again i respect your answer i did that <laughs> all right well, let's go right down here i do have children mm-hmm. i have three children okay. and they are young adults okay and i am not looking for them oh, oh. oh man Huh? All these women got kids, dang there, and the ones that don't get kids got seven dogs. Come on, so, <laughs> I, I would rather take a woman with kids before I take a woman with seven dogs. So, I was the net net of it is they all food bar, folks. This is bad. Yo, I dare you try to make that up. She like, look, you go through all these sisters. He like, dang, I, I don't want no sister with a kid. Like, here's one, she ain't got no kid, she ain't blowed out. Huh? You like it? But yeah. I think she got her natural hair. It's blonde, but it's it's natural. It's hers. And by you like that? But yeah, she got seven dogs. She's like, whoa, seven hounds. That's intense. Seven dogs. I don't that's 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 a lot. That's a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna keep cooking. Hit the like button. Okay. It is my time. I'm I hear you. You I'm right. Traveling. Yes. I'm yes. Traveling. You in, hey, you in your era. Yes. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> I have paid my debt to society. Okay. Yes. Okay. I have made my contribution. I hear you. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. So based off of that, what are we going with? And you got that toothpick on your ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I uh-huh. ain't forget it. Ain't forget it. <laughs> um, two more. Or just one more. Yeah. Let's go with two more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, so we have two ladies mm-hmm. left. Mm-hmm. 
So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and ask them a question. Okay, cool, cool, and cool. And then we're going to go ahead and see what you're feeling from there. Right. Um, so, if your friends or your family were to describe you, what three words would they use? Independent. Okay. Courageous. And amazing. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> If your family or friends were to describe you, what three words would they use? Oh my gosh, she is like a whole breath of fresh air. Okay, <laughs> I dig that. I'm playing. No, seriously, I'm not. <laughs> seriously, the, a whole breath of, breath of fresh air. Okay. Like, she's so warm and welcoming. Like, she fucking cooks everything, get togethers at the house. Like, I'm, I'm just that person, and it's me naturally. Okay. I, I fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. <laughs> no, nah, we supposed to. You, I want you to be real. <laughs> so, Hell. she's everything, she says, folks. Uh, huh. uh, listen, I, I can't call it. This ninja done popped the balloon of the only sister up there without no kids. And I'm just, I'm at a loss. I'm... Hey, I mean, we collect well, that seven damage. dogs. Hell, <laughs> man, the dogs could go, man. So, okay, she, 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 yeah. she hinted, she hinted that she had two dogs and they had puppies and she just can't get rid of them. So, I'm sorry, I ain't these sisters up here got two and three kids, 41. This one here, talking about all her kids is grown. She got what. <laughs> Well, like I said, when he first came in, this brother ain't looking for no wife. He he'd have asked that. That would have been his first question. Right. He's to, right. Now he's trying to figure out, you know, who I want to hunch at this point. Okay. So so in that instance, yeah, the childless woman, I would imagine so. You thinking on that wavelength? Oh, these ninjas. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull this sister Instagram up here. That's the last one holding the balloon. This is her, uh, Ashley Danielle. And how old is she? 41? She said she got three kids. How old is she? She said she got three adult kids. <laughs> she 41. So this is her traveling. Huh. She ain't bad said, looking, but no. Huh. It's not bad looking at all. You got to say what comes along with this. This sister that had three, she 41. She done lived. She didn't live out all her youth and vitality. Now that's what you gotta understand. What do she really have to give other than the physical? Like, I will question that. She talking about she didn't done what she doing. She just traveling now. I get <laughs> good so, for hunting. That's it. Good for hunting. And like I said, yeah, look at her. She looked like a good time, not a long time. There you go. That's what they. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, she done. I get it. She done raising kids. She done kicked them out the house. She said, "I'm outside indefinitely." <laughs> that's fair. Take and a couple traveling. Of she in Mexico. She was just in London. These women be traveling. They be like it's cheap. Y'all don't get it. You could go on here and get your Airbnb for this. The plane tickets is cheap. Y'all don't get it. <laughs> I get it. Selfish. They they in a selfish season. They're taking all their bread and resources. They're telling everybody to kick rocks. They're doing self-love, and they out of there like Carmen San Diego. That's fine. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> so this is her. She 41. I feel like a lot of these women, it's going to be a long night tonight. So we're going to let her cook. We'll let it keep going. Yeah. True Omega Sun comes back. He says the freshest of juices has been squeezed. <laughs> My point exactly. I don't care how nice of a bikini. I don't care how nice they skin tone is. All that juice is gone. Artificial juice. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button, folks. And now what about for you? How would your family or friends describe you with three words? Independent is a good one. Mm -hmm. um, charismatic. Um, entertaining. Entertaining. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so for our two ladies left, mm -hmm. based off of those answers, did you want to add on to it or I did do you do have to a talk? question? Go for it. Are you better at cooking or cleaning? Both of them. Right. I'm I had eggs. You'd be, you be, you be surprised. You would be surprised. You'd be surprised. 
Adam K. So both. Yeah. If you if you had to pick one, if you if you had to pick one. Um, I would say cleaning. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm a clean person for okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And this is Ashley. I would say cooking because okay. sometimes shit does get real. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shit does get real sometimes. Sometimes you just do not feel like putting that laundry up so it will sit on the couch for about yeah. a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> or on the no, other I side of your you. bed. I'm no, I did No, yeah. So no. Sometimes for that sure. laundry just kick it over and go to sleep. On the other side of the bed a couple mm-hmm. of days, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, yeah, I love to cook. Like, that's my jam. Like, I love to cook, drink wine, vibe out to some music. That's like... That's fun to me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, Ja, you ready to make your decision? Oh, she popped. What's going on? Why do we end up popping? I popped just because I don't feel the vibe is there. Mm. Yeah. Damn, I'm vibeless. That's the verdict. What's going on? Did you feel it earlier? Like, what happened? Throughout time, when he was asking the questions, yeah, okay. I just, mm-mm. It's not there for yeah, you. Yeah, no. Damn. And that's what we talk about on the date market. These women will say what they want, and you can present them. Then they'll find something. Uh, there we go. The vibe. Dude, how in the vibe? Y'all ain't even sat down and talked. Y'all, nothing. Just, and then the other <laughs> woman sitting here, 41 years old with them kids. Man, this is crazy. She said the vibe ain't there. She said you spending too much time talking to each other sisters. You supposed to be focused on me, ninja. I don't care what no one say. No one's more territorial than sisters. And I I feel like as this goes on, and then women be like, you keep talking to each other sisters. They just gonna pop out of out of spite. That's what I think. And this other woman talking about. He said, cook or clean. She talking about, I cook. She said, sometimes I don't be one to clean. I do laundry and let it sit there. That's so lazy. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It'll sit on the couch for a couple days. I wish I would come in and see some laundry sitting on the couch. Man. Yeah. Come in the house and it's like, hey, what's this? (laughs) If it's on the couch, it's being actively folded or something. Yeah. But abandoned? You talking about a day? Putting the baby's night night and it's still there. So, so we're gonna wake up and put this laundry away. What's gonna happen? What talking about <laughs> this is crazy. So, like y'all said in the chat, they are not wives. All right. Ready, boom. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, oh. if we can have Miss Ashley come on out here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have you stand okay, over here, though. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, Ashley, did you have any questions to determine if this is someone you do want to proceed with? Yes, I do. Do you want children? Yes. I'm not having no baby. I know, I know. I'm so I know, done. I know, I know. Done, done. When I heard the answers, I was like, damn, I ain't got a shot but in here. Cool as- you Yo, cool. for sure. No, no, no. Y'all are all very I'm cool people. I'm so trying so hard not to curse. <laughs> but you are so cool. Yeah. You are like so dope. You are very you. attractive. You are well put together, all Thank that. I but I have you. paid my debt to society and I'm not, not having society. any more children. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's what you get for simping. You should have been popped her balloon. Baby mama, three kids, 40. You playing and joking. And, and another thing we don't talk about sometimes. A lot of these women be intimidated by men. So they come up here talk about how men are intimidated by them. That's so far incorrect. But some women will be intimidated by some men They like from the way you might dress or whatever. And they used to a particular kind of guy. And they just, they like, look, I know I can't get away with some of my ish. I'm just looking at you. You look like you're going to hold me accountable. <laughs> there you go. And they go pop that balloon. If you ask me, Miss X, I think that's what just transpired. They got it there, and she's like, you know what? Self-sabotage. He heard you the first time when you said you didn't want no kids. We all heard it. We already discussed it. She just, do you want kids? You know it's, y'all there for the hunching. They can say what they want. You ask me, they still linked up. She likes him. <laughs> so we're going to let them go, and we're going to get to this next brother. Hit the like button. All right. <laughs> uh, I hear it. I hear oh, it sure. man. All right. Well, John, unfortunately, like that. that's all the balloons popped. That was popped. my shot at love. Thank you so much for coming on, but you uh, are going to go home. No, we can definitely go for sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> 
Yeah, all right, ladies. Fact, let's... The night is young. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. Let's give it up for him, though, ladies. Thank you for coming on Thank out. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> you could go. <laughs>